In this video, I'll be going over different ways you can figure out pricing for Etsy. Now, I'm going to be mostly focusing on digital downloads, but I will go over physical products and services, things like that, but it's going to be different for everybody. And to be transparent, I still consider myself a beginner when it comes to Etsy, but I think this pricing strategies can definitely be helpful. So first, let's just search what we're trying to create. So personally, I have five active digital download listings right now, and they're for like digital paper, kind of like craft paper pads, scrapbook paper, designs, like things like that. So I'm just gonna type in something really random. We'll do horse um, digital paper. We'll do that and hit search. All right, so now I'm just looking to see if anything's similar to what I would create. So this is similar to what I want to do, and I'm just gonna see what they have priced. So 392, 696, you can look at how many designs they give, 199, 289. So this is the first step I recommend doing, is looking at all of your competitors and getting an idea of where their prices stand. So I'm seeing some as low as in the dollar range to as high as I think I saw $8 somewhere, or maybe it was $6. Uh, but it probably depends on how many graphics they have and everything like that and how they're created, especially if any of these are hand-drawn or things like that. I mean, these are less than a dollar, two dollars, four dollars. Okay, right now I have all of mine listed for two ninety nine, I believe, and this isn't profit. This is like what I'm selling them for. So Etsy has fees and things like that which there are less fees or not less fees, but less cost with digital downloads because you're not shipping a product. And once it's created, it doesn't cost you more money to create it, or at least it shouldn't, like more money to sell it. People can just order and download it and I don't have to do anything. Kind of like passive income in a way once it's all created and uploaded. So now if I do something else, we'll do like horse, we'll just stick with the horse theme. If I'm doing a physical product, like a horse sweatshirt, and I'll want to look and see if any of these designs are similar to what you might be selling and looking at the pricing. So I'm looking like they're all around like $15 to $25. Some are a bit more, but it could depend on if they're custom or things like that. But if you do have a product that isn't a digital download, you have to account for how much it costs you to make the product, how much it will cost your shipping. So you can get out like a calculator or a spreadsheet or a notepad or just a piece of paper, like literally anything. Write down how much it costs you to create a product, how much it costs you to ship the product. And if you'd like, totally up to you, but you could add in how much time it takes you to make the product. So if you were paying yourself like a salary, if it took you an hour, you know, how long is that? Is that $10 an hour, $20 an hour? Like you can add that in as well if you want to increase your profit or just kind of see where you're at. And then you'll want to put in your revenue and then also look at the Etsy fees and make sure you subtract all the possible Etsy fees and if you use ads as well. So I know that might seem very overwhelming. So if you don't want to do all of that math yourself, Everbee actually has this awesome extension and it has an Etsy profit calculator. So Everbee is, has been super, super nice and they are actually sponsoring this video. So I greatly, greatly appreciate that. And I'm so excited to share this with you all. So if you go to the profit calculator and you just type in your amount, you might have already seen this in some of my other videos. I really love using this calculator. It is very easy to use and very simple and I think it's super helpful. So for example, let's just use one of the sweatshirts. So we'll do like $19.99 or let's do something a little cheaper. We'll do $18.99. And right now my profit would be $16.74 and that's just subtracting the fees and things like that that happens with the product. Well, what if it costs you $5 to create the item and then $5 to ship the item? So you can add right here. It'll literally do all the math for you right away. So now I'm at a profit of $6.74. So obviously it depends if you're covering shipping or if the customer is covering shipping. So for example, this is what it costs you to ship the order. So if it's costing the customer and not you, then you don't have to include it. But if it's coming out of your own pocket, then definitely include it here. And let's say you wanted to offer like a 20% discount. Now you're making $3.29. So if it took you and takes you an hour to create a product, whether this is a sweatshirt or something else, and this is what it sells for, you're getting $3.29 for an hour's worth of work. That's not really that great of a profit. So 
maybe you can cut down on how much it costs you to make the item or maybe you can increase your price some more so that way you're making more of a profit. So now we're at a $14.67 profit, which for an hour is pretty good. I'm not sure what the minimum wage where you are, but that's above minimum wage where I currently am. So um, it depends what you want to do. If this is your full-time job, if this is your side hustle, if you could make one of these every 15 minutes, this is way above minimum wage. I actually don't even know what the exact minimum wage is right now, but that's okay. So I highly, highly recommend using this calculator. But if you don't want to, you don't have to, you can go ahead and use a spreadsheet or a notepad, like I said, and just look at all the competitors, find things that are similar to what you're actually creating and kind of go from there. So if I type in like custom, we'll do custom horse sweatshirt. See if anything's different. I mean, this one's a bit more, 30-ish dollars, 24, 31, 35. You just got to do the math and see how much it's actually going to cost you to create the item and then figure out how much of a profit you want to have. And, of course, remember to also include your ad spend if you do use ads. And just input as much information as you can. It's definitely a learning curve. So if I do craft paper, we'll do horse craft paper. This will probably be different than the digital download, but I mean, this is similar. So these are still digital downloads and then some actual craft paper. But just go through the competitors, figure out how much it's going to cost you, and kind of go from there. And again, I definitely recommend using this calculator. It's going to, I think, eliminate so much stress if you use this. I love using this calculator. So I could actually do the math of how much money I should be making. And if I do $2.99, it's $2.26, which I'm pretty sure is spot on or at least incredibly, incredibly close because I usually make around $2 or so from a sale, but it depends on if I have, um, like Etsy has sometimes, I don't know if they're called like outside ads or like web page ads where if a sale comes from there, then more of a percentage of the fee comes off or something like that. But um, like if I do Etsy ads here, you can put in like your ATOS offsite ads. I believe this is what it is. And let me look at this info. The offsite advertising fee depends on the revenue made on Etsy. Okay, so that's cool. So let me put in what I've made. I've made less than $10,000 in the past 365 days so far. So what was that? 12%, I think. You know, you'll be charged 15%. Okay, 15%. We'll calculate. So 181. That also sounds about right to me because I have had at least one sale for the offsite. So anyways, this is just a very quick way to do it. And I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any other ways that you price your products out, um, some people I feel like do even like surveys or polls or things like that. And you can experiment with it. You can change your pricing around. Just find what works best for you. But I hope this was helpful and I hope your Etsy business is doing very well. So thank you so much for listening and watching this video.